Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Third Chair. Or welcome back to Third Chair, if you've seen us before. Um, we are playing Splatoon today, single player campaign. And uh, our level today is Propeller Lift Playground, Whispers on the Wind. So let's head in. Um, I know you're going to see, uh, for all of you observant people out there, that I have played this level before, I have played a lot of the upcoming levels, and I I really am sad about this, but I was recording a lot of these episodes, and I wanted to record a bunch in a row because I had a lot of time off, and I went to edit the recordings, and the audio was all just messed up, it was very quiet, you couldn't hear anything. So I made it through a couple levels, sadly, and they were very good, because um, it's very fun at first. I mean, they're still very good levels now, but I'm playing them for a second time, just getting everyone back, you know, getting myself back to where I was. Um, and so you guys don't miss anything. Alright, so we are heading up. Powerlift Playground. Whee! Oh wait, we just jump out on this one. Woo! And uh, we want to grab our orbs, like always. Money's very important to a squid. And it's also good. Woo! They can't see me. And then they all see me. <laughs> ah! Right, get down, get down! Alright, let's get you, nice, and you, and can I throw a bomb on you? Not nah, really. There we go, sink me, you did it! Now we're moving on. Yeah. So hopefully the uh, audio and video issues, the video was actually very fine. Those should be going away real soon, you know, it's just, uh, I'm sure everyone who has started recording at one point has had these issues, especially with, uh, separate mic from capture system, but hey, you know, you do the best of what you got. And I'll show you guys all the secrets, because now you don't get to see the struggle. You just get to see that they, uh, <laughs> where they are. So there's the, uh, secret to this level, which I've already got, and I'll go through the lore once we, uh, get past each level, and then we can go you guys. Yeah, so it's a the money, the money. And climb the wall. Woo! And we jump ahead. And, oh, I always forgot. This part of the level is actually really tough. Um... These little guys that distract you, and you're like, oh, I'll take you down the low. You go too far, and uh, you don't go far enough, and that guy will destroy you. Boom, he's done. And I'm the fan. Ooh, I need that. Ooh, lots of, lots of money, lots of, uh, lots of little dragon balls. That's what they kind of look like in my mind. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got get down, get down, get down. Not, not good, that wasn't good. No, focus on the, uh, focus on the guy over there, you know? Wizard of Oz, like. Focus on the giant bomb over there. Don't look at the kid hiding in the... Wait, no, the squid hiding in the, uh, in. Woo! Thanks, that fish is up there. And up we go. Alright. How do you even know I'm here? Oh, hello. I can't, I gotta, I gotta get him here. I gotta move him in. To hide on in person. Hello! Alright, we got all of you. Let's see if I can throw a bomb up there. Nah, can't throw one up there. There you go. Oh, accidentally did too. Alright, and bring you down, bring you down, bring you down. Let's go. Woo! And hello, hello, friends. So nice to see you again. Ah, oh, we can't get that. And up the wall. We're gonna be quick about this. Oh, ah, too quick. <laughs> Whee! And get the, uh, get the orbs. Yay! All right, nasty level. Ah, it looks so. Uh, it looks a little different though, Zapfish. Ah, <laughs> oh, pillows on the playground. It's a nice, quick level. And we're heading to level seven, which uh, I don't remember where it is, but we're gonna find it. Woo! I think it's up here. Oh wait, no, that's the boss. Uh, all right, level seven. Level seven. Now are you over here? Nope, that's four. Cool. Five, seven, there's seven. Whee! Spreader Splatfest. Ink stains and teardrops. Indie game. Ah. I have to say, this is a real nice game this one actually play. I came back from the uh, pumpkin farm today where uh, <laughs> we had a uh, very nice combination of uh, hayride and. Uh, Corn maze you can get for a nice deal. You can pick your own pumpkin at the for uh, free, which is really nice. And it's just, it was cold, it was, I, mean, I had a great time, but you know, getting lost in a corn maze for an hour takes a lot out of you. 
very tough, but uh, can't wait to go back. I know they have a haunted meditation nearby. I'd love to see that sometime. I'd suggest anyone in the Galloway area check it out. Uh, ooh, how'd it go now? I don't know, it's, it's pretty popular, though. I'm sure someone will know. Or has, has been there before. Boom! You're done! And you're splattered up and... Oh, I gotta remember the secret... Oh, I know exactly where the secret is on this level. Oh, like, oh, no, 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 I need to back up there! Alright, go, go, go! The sweep is gonna get me! The sweep is gonna get me! No, 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 no! Whoa! Alright, woo! I made it! And... <laughs> so what's your favorite food? Bucko, mine be Krabby Cakes. <laughs> All right, Captain Cuttlefish, you, uh, you do that. Yeah, I don't know, it's got such a great charm to it. And I actually, uh, I put this game away for a while. I didn't play it for a long time. All right, let's get on you. And, uh, let's have some fun. But, uh, I kind of learned the, uh, it is very, very addictive. In a good way. It's like, oh, I just want to, you know, relax and play this game when I get the free chance. Ah, oh, I fell! Oh, my, ah! Oh man! <laughs> well, that's pretty dumb. Oh, I got the orb, I think so. Thanks. Watch those spreaders. Man, these guys are funny. They kind of try to fly away from the bomb, but I'm like, you're already in the air. You don't need to fly. Boom! One down. One to go. All right, actually two to go. It's one of those. Wait, where do you go? Here, where do you go? Here. There we go. No one sees me down here. <laughs> oh, look at that! Surprise! It's the thing over here. And I, uh, I jumped to my death again. Ooh, not a good run. No worries. Well, that's where it would be for uh, anybody curious. Ah, I got the uh, information for this level. The uh, boy, I'll do it. I'll do it after this. I won't forget. Don't worry. Whoosh! Gotta go. Gotta go fast. Up we go. Oh, uh, my friend Max, uh, fellow third chairman. Uh, he brought back a uh, very cool uh, Sonic Boom <laughs> uh, collectible. I, I don't even know what it is. It is it's it is funny. Like, I can't believe it's actually made. Kind of funny. Ah, the game is just so. Uh... I guess it had a, a certain wow factor to it, but not the kind of wow you want. <laughs> like this has a very fun wow factor to it. Oh, that was... oh, I like jumping over. Here. Hey, I'm over here! Oh! Oh, wait, no, I actually have full life now. Let's go check that. That's nice. Whee! And into the thing we go! Uh, launch it. Blast it. Ooh, the Zapfish is nearby. Alright. Bam! You're done. And surprise, you're done! Oh, jeez, this guy kind of stopped coming up. Oh, I'm last year. Boom! And up we go! Let's find this last guy for fun. Oh, I can't it. There we go. We did it, he says. Or I did it. He didn't really do it. Woohoo! And we go. And whoa, we kind of just got absorbed right in there. Spread a splat fast. Woo, we beat that level. We got some nice little armor bonus as well. Alright. So let's read those sunken scrolls real quick. Oh, uh, we had six and seven. The Department of Energy has announced that further declines in the availability of electric power are likely to occur in the near future. With the underground domes also deteriorating rapidly, the future does not look bright. Ah, wow, it's very dim. Very grim. The ink spray during a turf war vanishes almost immediately after the battle ends. How environmentally friendly and incredibly convenient. <laughs> I like how this research note... It's like so lighthearted compared to all the other ones. It's all sad. And this one's like, eh, how nice is that? Right, we got time for one more level. I uh, I love this level. I it was such a like original part of this. I um I'm doing invasion. Let's head right to it. Um, I'll I'll upgrade my gear later. Don't worry. Um, at first this is the Kelp Dome. So if you ever play online Splatoon, this is the map where, uh, well it's one of the maps you can play on. And I never knew that because, uh, well I knew it, but I never played on it. So this was like a first time for everybody. Like, look at these guys! Look at these Octolings! Oh my gosh, they look so creepy and they're scallywags and they, they fire it at you and shoot almost better than a human sometimes. It's really good actually. Alright. And then I think the secret one is... Alright, I can get the secret one here too, I don't need it technically. 
Oh, boom! Uh, I'm gonna saying, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, these octopus are really cool, man. Like, they act really, uh, neatly like they're almost being played by somebody else. Granted, not a very good somebody else, but <laughs> better than some online people. Boom! Alright, I think the, uh, I think the secret's over here, technically. Kind of missed out on it first time. Boom! So that's where the scrolls. I could not find that one for ages. When I first was playing, I had to, uh, <laughs> I, had to I had to start, like, holding it up and just to find it. It was pretty bad. Ah, don't worry, you know where it is now. Whee! Up we go! And, uh, there's a zapfish right there. All you have to do is beat all the octolings, uh, there's a lot of stuff to explore around the crate up there. Ah! Ah! I'm, getting, I'm just gonna take this guy. Because that's all you have to do. You just have to run and get the guy. So showdown, though, you know? You fight a bunch of these octo troopers who, uh, look, once again, pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm popping on out, and let's read that scroll. Paradise Lost by Octoangelo. <laughs> oh, I forgot this one existed. It's so weird. <laughs> it's just so... Like, why? It just, uh, it's funny, though. Um, I don't know, I'm sure somebody can translate that left side of it, or has already. There's people out there. They do great things. Uh, kind of how the same way in Pokemon you have the unknown language. That's you know, translated, even though it's, that one's not as hard to see, but, like, this looks like a B, and then a U with an R combined, and a G that can't decide whether it wants to go up or down, <laughs> so I'm not gonna try and, uh, read that to you, it'd take me a long time, I'm sure, but, uh, yep, oops, sorry, I'll save that one, don't want to spoil anything, after this level, though, um, woo, all the way down, my bad, Wait, what am I doing? I can just super jump now. Uh, level 9, the last level before the boss. Uh, unidentified flying object. Trouble over Inkopolis. And, uh... Well, I want to get right to it, but we're out of time today, sadly, so... We'll record this one next time on 3rd shift. See you guys then!